This video demonstrates three ways of doing AI-assisted labeling with Edge Impulse. If you have the same object in subsequent frames, for example from a video or a place where the objects are stationary, you can use object tracking to quickly label. Label the objects in the first frame, here a remote and AirPods, then click Save Labels, and the objects are automatically followed in subsequent frames, and ta-da, we've labeled our complete data set in seconds. A second method is to use a larger neural network to assist with labeling. If you have objects that are typically found in a household, you can use YOLO v5 to actually label these objects automatically. Here we have the complete scene. We can remove any objects that we don't care about, like the keyboard, laptop, or the table, and keep, in this case, just the bottles. As we use a different label, we can just edit the label to say beer, and now every object found by YOLO v5 with um, a bottle label will be labeled beer in our data set. Now we can just quickly click through all of the unlabeled items in our data set and once again label this in seconds. A last way is that you can use your current Edge Impulse project to give suggestions. This is great because you can quickly build a small data set here, 32 images of a coffee and a lamp, train up an object detection model on this and then use this model to suggest extra labels for new photos that might come in. Here you just select under label suggestions the name of your project and it suggests here a lamp and a coffee cup and we can just save labels or adjust them when needed. This is great for objects that are specific and not in a larger neural network like Yolo v5. That's all. That's three different ways how you can use AI-assisted labeling using Edge Impulse. Can't wait to see what you'll build.